Well, we are putting Irene in perspective for you. Irene is on the same path as Hurricane Earl was last September, just much, much closer to the coast. Now, if Irene continues like that, it means that anything Earl could do, she can do better, and that is not a good thing. This was Earl. The hurricane never actually made landfall. Still, it's really scary. I'm terrified. Earl blew rain in sideways with sustained winds at 30 miles per hour and gusts near 70 on the Outer Banks. It's going to go. Yeah, it's going to go. The Frisco Pier collapsed. So did this gas station awning. But the real mess was left on Highway 12. Flooding washed out part of the road, leaving residents and tourists stranded. Ankle deep usually. Get me? Earl spared Hampton Roads for the most part, but if Irene stays on track, think as Hurricane well Floyd-style uh, flooding. There's our street sign, 2nd Avenue. We're getting ready to go right across Franklin Street. And this is about eight foot underwater right here. It took Franklin years to recover from this storm in 1999. Floyd also knocked out power to 788,000 customers with 75 mile per hour winds. Irene's winds could be near 60 miles an hour over Hampton Roads in the eastern shore, near 100 miles an hour over Hatteras. So looking back again at Earl. Dare County Emergency Management saying it could have been a lot worse and that we got lucky. We can only hope that luck holds. It's just a way of and as Irene heads toward the East Coast, we are constantly updating information online. You'll find a timeline of updates on our homepage, wavy.com.